Welcome back. There are a lot of things going on at Loveridge. One way you can know what is happening is to check the website at loveridge.net. Here you can find the daily bell schedule, a calendar of upcoming events, and links to PowerSchool, Schoology, and other important items. You can also find your teachers' emails and links to their websites. The TVs in the Commons area and the Marquee are also places you can find out what's happening at Lava Ridge. Today, during advisory, you will be checking out a Chromebook. This is something new this year. Your advisory teacher will assign you a Chromebook number from their cart. After you get your Chromebook, take it back to your desk and look it over carefully. Check that the outside of the Chromebook is undamaged. Look at all four sides and make sure there are no cracks, missing parts, and that all of the ports are undamaged. Now open the Chromebook and look at the keyboard, touchpad, and screen. Are any of the keys missing or loose? Is there damage to the casing around the keyboard, touchpad, or screen? Does your computer turn on and does the screen light up? Once it is on, log in to your Chromebook. Remember, your username is the first part of your email address and starts with a 26 for 7th graders and a 27 for 6th graders. Your password is what you use to check your email. Once you have your computer on, open Google and go to loveridge.net. From here, click on Student Station and then choose Student Learning Links. Scroll down and click on Chromebook Checkout. This will open a Google form. Choose your advisory teacher from the drop-down, then type in your last name and first name. Next, it asks for your computer number. This can be found on the front in paint marker or with a sticker that's been added by your teacher. Next, it asks for your Washington County School District barcode number. This is found on the bottom of the Chromebook. This is on either a silver sticker or a white sticker and is a six-digit number. The next box is where you will list any damage you saw on your Chromebook, like missing or loose keys or cracks or missing parts. List it carefully on the form. That way we know the damage was done before you checked out the Chromebook and you won't be held responsible for it. If you aren't sure about something, check with your teacher before you fill this out. They'll be happy to help you. Finally, you're going to check that you understand that you may be responsible for any damage that happens while the Chromebook is in your possession. Before you hit submit, you can choose to have the form send you a copy of your responses. That way you know what you entered. We'll take this Chromebook to each of your classes throughout the day. When it is not in use, it should be safely stored in your backpack. It also needs to be in your backpack when you are in the hallways between classes and during lunch. Chromebooks are not to be out of your backpack for any reason in the lunch area. Your teacher will let you know when you are allowed to have your Chromebook out in class. At the end of each day, when you return to your advisory, you will plug your Chromebook in to charge. If you check out during the day, Mrs. Larson will take your Chromebook and make sure it is delivered back to your advisory classroom. If you check in late, you will head quickly and quietly to your advisory class grab your Chromebook, and then go to your class. If your Chromebook becomes damaged, it is your responsibility to let your advisory teacher know. Most things are easily fixed if you catch them early, but if you wait, the damage can become worse and harder to fix. So please remember to let your teacher know. Let's watch a quick video to help you remember how to treat your Chromebook. So, you've got a Chromebook. Now what? Here are some helpful tips for taking care of your Chromebook so that it will always be ready to use. Tip number one, keep your Chromebook on a flat surface like a table or a desk. Don't leave it on the floor where someone could step on it. Tip number two, don't pile things on top of your Chromebook. Chromebooks aren't meant to hold weight, so any extra pressure can break the screen. Tip number three, Make sure there isn't anything on the keyboard when you close your Chromebook. Even something as small as a pencil or an eraser can break the screen if it's in the way. Tip number four, keep food and drinks away from your Chromebook and make sure your hands are clean. Crumbs and liquids are very bad for your Chromebook and can cause it to stop working properly. Tip number five, always make sure your Chromebook is closed when you carry it and always use two hands. 
never carry your Chromebook by the screen. Don't worry, your Chromebook will start right back up when you're ready to use it again. Tip number six, plug your Chromebook in when you're not using it. That way it will be charged and ready for when you need it. Tip number seven, if your Chromebook does break, make sure you tell your teacher right away. The longer you wait, the worse the problem could get. Don't try to fix it yourself. Let the experts handle it. While you're taking care of your Chromebook, remember to take care of yourself online too. Stay on approved websites, keep your password private, and log off when you're done. Remember, anything that happens under your account is your responsibility. Taking good care of your Chromebook will ensure that you always have a working device that's ready whenever you are. Be a responsible user and make the most out of your Chromebook. It's school safety week. Tomorrow, sixth graders will take part in an anti-bullying presentation and seventh graders on Wednesday. We will also be learning about the different safety drills and practicing them for the first time this week. Remember that applications for safety patrol are available in the office. Please have your school organization supplies with you tomorrow so that we can learn about being organized and some great study skills. Until then, have an amazing day.